Hello everyone and welcome back. When I was down in Louisiana, I drove down to Lake Pontchartrain and I was picking up pieces of driftwood. This is one of the pieces that I found down there. I don't know what this was. It already had this cut on it, so it could have been, I don't know if it was a piece of railroad tie or what, but it's floated for a long time. You can see here how it was just covered with barnacles at one time. It's pretty neat and I like how these bugs have made all these little holes in it like this. I took and cut one slab off and you can see that is pretty unique. The one slab that I took off you can see here I mean it put some varnish on there it's not a real unique grained wood or anything like that but with those holes in there it's kind of neat. So what I'm going to try to do I need to get this this flat side here uh, I don't have a blade that can cut through this much to make it into a board. I kind of want some smaller ones so I'm going to try to flatten out this bottom so I can run it through a table saw and just see what this looks like if we cut it into some small little boards. That should give me a flat enough surface now to at least try to run it through the table saw, see what we can come up with, even if we have to run a pass on both sides to make it through. I think I'm going to dig out the old table saw. You can't even adjust that blade anymore, but um, if there's any pieces of rock or anything in there, I don't care if this one gets damaged. Well, pretty uneventful, but still, that was kind of fun. It does have some decent grain in it. I don't know what kind of wood this is, and I don't, it doesn't smell like any kind of wood I've ever done before either. I also found this one. I think I'm just going to go into this one with the uh, planer and see if, what kind of grain this has. one here now look at the grain in that I don't know what kind of tree that is either just another one that was floating in the water but that looks nice well whatever it is it's a fairly fast growing tree I mean the rings are well, they're small, I guess not super fast, but, huh, I just don't know what kind of wood that is. Well, this one was hollow in the middle. Almost smells like oak. I wonder if this is live oak. I don't know. We don't have live oak up here, but we have oak. Pretty neat. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but look at the difference in these. Look at the difference in the coloring of that. These are all pieces of wood that I found on the shore up there. This one here now, this uh, was not a piece of driftwood, this is just one that I picked up down in the Moorpaw Swamp area in Louisiana and I kind of want to open this one up a little bit and see uh, you know, what the grain looks like and exactly what this is. Well, 
so far it looks pretty boring. We'll cut that into a board though and see what it looks like when we get a little farther in. Well, that one isn't quite as exciting, but it's still always fun to see what's inside once you open it up. This piece right here is a Japanese red plum. We cut this down in Melissa's front yard. She didn't even realize it was a plum tree. She just wanted it out of there. And then she has another one in the tr in the yard, and uh, it had plums on it last year so she wishes she went to cut this down but I want to see what kind of grain it has because this has been drying for two years and it still weighs a ton so it's definitely a hard wood okay, we've got the end grain looks pretty good saw finally died. <laughs> oh, that one was so close to be on his last leg anyway. That one looks like it might have some really neat grain, like some cool colors in there once you get some varnish on there. This here is just a piece of cypress. Uh, the rest of this actually already got used on another piece of like log furniture. But I've never cut it open and looked at the grain on this, so let's split this. We won't get any boards out of it, really, but at least we can see what it looks like. All right, well, here we have our cypress. Which, look at it like this, it looks really boring, but we know that when you get some varnish and stuff on that, it turns out looking pretty good. If you guys want to see some pretty grain, this here is a piece of white oak. I was out cutting wood, I don't know, about a week ago for next year, winter time in the workshop here. And uh, the, you never see white oak in the store. You can always get the red oak and stuff like that, but this stuff here is far overlooked. Here now you can see, look at the grain in that, in that white oak. I think I'm going to do a bigger piece to get a little bit more of the heartwood in there. Um, but I mean, it's just amazing. Here you can see it good right there. Look at that, huh? Look at the colors in that one, huh? That is so nice. I'm gonna put some water on this. Kind of gives the same effect as if you're gonna varnish it. Look at that. Wow. All right, well, I think I'm gonna call it a day playing around with the saw and pieces of wood. Oh, we got some nice white oak there Japanese what was it Japanese red plum 
I have no clue what that is. Cypress. And this one here, which I thought was boring in the beginning, I just the more and more I look at that, I really like it. And then we've got this, whatever this was from Louisiana also that I wasn't sure about. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Shortly here, I don't know, within this next week, I think I'm going to be starting to cut some more boards with my chainsaw mill. Right now, there's a project that I've been working on for a while. Um, maybe I'll have to do a part one and part two on that, but coming up, one of the videos is this table.